I'm Mrs. Ali with the Eastern Iowa Arts Academy, and I have a new art project for you. Have fun! Hi everyone! In this video, I will show how to draw simple graffiti style letters. Um, these are examples of my last name, Ali. Um, this one's more of a bubble style letter, and this one's more of a block. So to start with, you're gonna write your letters in a simple, either capital or lowercase, and try to leave a little space. You're literally going to make a bubble going around each letter. So I'm gonna follow a parallel line going around. So if I start right here, I'm gonna go around this side, and I'm using a curved corner and then connect. If it's a letter that has a space in the middle, like an A, then you can decide what type of little space you want to draw. So I just kind of do like a rounded triangle. After this, I'm going to erase the first letter I wrote on the inside. Um, it helps if you draw a little bit lighter than I did. I was drawing dark so that it shows up better in the video. Um, I like to use a marker. It doesn't matter what color. I'm just going to use black um, to trace over my pencil lines. Just so they show up better. Then I would go back and any parts where I didn't exactly trace it perfect, I can erase. And don't forget your little circles if you have them. Um, you can also add uh, what I'm calling the throwy outline. So a throwy is just a quick name that's thrown up with graffiti. Um, a lot of times they have this outline around the outside. So that's just another layer of outline. Um, so for this one, I'm going to do pencil first, but I would just add an extra line going around all the letters. So I'm just following those lines, but going around the outside. Alright, so left is any decorations coloring. Um, I'm going to show how to do the ombre or fade or whatever you want to call that. Um, I use color pencils for this so you can pick any color and then I like to do it from the darkest point at the top and then get lighter at the bottom but you can also reverse it. You could also do this shading with multiple different colors. I'm just going to show one though. So at the top of my A I'm going to press as hard as I can while I'm shading the top of it. I'm only going to use blue for this one but I'm pressing down as hard as I can and I'm making lines that are going up and down um, I'm leaving that part white I usually go around halfway with the darkest shade and then I would do the same thing on my L and I try to do a even layer across so that they kind of line up So then next I'm going to do kind of a medium shading, so I'm not going to press down as hard and then I usually stop about a third or so left. So I'm just trying to blend it down so it gradually gets lighter. And if I was doing different colors I would just switch colors anytime I do a new layer. So this last layer I'm doing it really lightly so I'm not pressing down hard when I'm coloring. I'm still going up and down though so that all my coloring lines go in the same direction. And then on the outside I could either just color that plain with marker 
or colored pencil. Um, if you want to add patterns, um, a good way to do that is to use a marker and add patterns. I'm just going to do lines going different directions. Um, this is also called cross hatching sometimes. So I'm just switching directions and doing a few lines. I'm trying to switch which way my lines go. And then I'm just going to lightly color this over top. And this one I'm not um, caring so much about shading. You could do an ombre effect in the background too, but I'm just coloring it. All right, and that's it. So that's how to draw your name in graffiti style letters. Um, so again, this was a bubble one. Block letter would be a similar. You would just add some straight edges instead of curves. Um, you can also do patterns inside the letters or outside, however you want to fill it in, that's up to you.